and using all sorts of traps and ambushes. Have you lost the world? The Monster Faction is all about the unspeakable horrors that inhabit the world of the Witcher. Monsters breed, which involves card duplication. Long live the Emperor! The game's fifth faction, the Empire of Nilfgaard, makes expert use of spies who work behind enemy lines. Proceed according to plan. As you fight more battles, you'll gather the experience and resources you need to explore new and original tactics. You'll build your own decks. Unlock new cards either by crafting them or by buying kegs from Shoop, a card dealing troll. Each keg contains four random cards and a fifth one, guaranteed to be of higher value. You'll be able to choose one out of three. Wow! But battling players from around the world in the game's competitive modes is not the only way to enjoy Gwent. It was a day like any other. Those looking for a story-driven experience will feel right at home in our single-player campaigns. In these adventures, you'll explore the world of The Witcher, expand your card resources, train your army, and forge your own path through a branching storyline created by the writers of The Witcher 3. But that's a tale for another time. Senior Product Manager on the Terra team at Enmass Entertainment, and I'm excited today to walk you through some of the unique features in the console version of Terra. Terra's defining feature, and what sets it apart from other games in the MMO genre, is its true action combat. The developers of Terra at Bluehole have went to great lengths to adapt Terra's true action combat experience fully to console gamepads. All the skills and combos that you're used to are fully accessible with a gamepad across two separate skill bars. Terra has a wide variety of different character classes, and they all play a bit differently. For this reason, the developers have created a unique default button mapping for each class. You can also fully customize these button assignments to your personal preference. A brand new lock-on system allows players to keep the action centered on their screen and keep enemies in their sights. The entirety of Terra's UI has been fully redesigned. The interface is now full screen and can be easily viewed from a distance. I stand among fallen comrades. The cost of the battle will take their toll. But in the absence of all hope... I will remain vigilant. I will not fail, my brethren. I will make any sacrifice that is necessary. Our time is now. Go, 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 go. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Our command, we're moving, we're moving. Go, thank go, get him, get him. The battle is here. No, we're done, we're done. Line up, line up to me, line up to me. Line up to me, 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 the line's off. And I'm gonna start popping the it's time for war. Okay, the charge is now. They're coming now. One max in. One max in. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hold on there now. Stand on it. Stand on it. There you go. Nice work. Nice work. Whatever your allegiance, however you choose to fight, keep in mind what is most important. We must fight together to survive. Guardian, a warrior, assassin, and a mage, all right at your disposal. Now let's take a look at the five free gods. 
Neath is an amazing hunter, both at a casual level and a competitive level. The best part about Neath is that when you play her, she's extremely safe. One of her abilities is a backflip, which will send her directly backwards and out of harm's way, so you never have to worry about getting ganked. Ra is one of the most versatile mages in Smite. Not only does Ra have a tremendous amount of damage on his kit, but he also has a heal. This means that you can heal your teammates while still laying down all the damage on your opponents. Thor is that assassin that everyone wants on their team. Thor's ultimate shoots him straight up into the sky where he's able to choose a target location to come crashing down on. Communicate with your teammates to let them know which enemy you will attack to always secure the kill. Guan Yu is a warrior, which means he is naturally a little bit tankier of a god. Guan Yu is really good at getting into the middle of the fight and staying there. His ability Tell Assault not only does damage, but also strips away the protections from enemy gods. And if any enemy god tries to run away, you can hop on your horse and chase him down.
two, one. Welcome to Brawlhalla. Thank you.